Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I am Muneeb Hamid with the headlines of this hour. The Afghan government says the Taliban have killed three of its security personnel in an attack on a public protection force base in Bhaktika province. A spokesman for the provincial governor said five others have been wounded in the attack in Gadde city. Claiming responsibility, the Taliban say they have killed five Afghan soldiers and wounded dozens others. Syria says an Israeli missile attack has killed two soldiers and wounded seven others, causing infrastructural damage near Damascus. The state media said Syrian air defenses intercepted most of the Israeli missiles launched from the Golan Heights towards its military sites. Israel has not yet commented on the Syrian media's claim. The Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi says the UAE is committed to the establishment of a Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital. In a statement, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan said the normalization deal with Israel was a sovereign decision in the favor of peace. U.S. President Donald Trump has sided with the teen who killed two protesters at Black Lives Matter rally in Kenosha City of Wisconsin State. At a White House briefing, Trump said the gunman acted in self-defense and probably would have been killed by demonstrators if he had not opened fire. The COVID-19 infections in Brazil are nearing the 5 million mark with more than 121,000 deaths across the country. India has recorded over 800 deaths and almost 70,000 cases overnight, taking case low to nearly 3.7 million. Meanwhile, in Pakistan, four people have lost their lives to the virus overnight, taking the toll to 6,298 with over 296,000 cases. Globally, the virus has claimed over 850,000 lives while infecting over 25.4 million. Well, that's all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news. Take care.